All right, let's take a look here at Apache MXNet a little bit more in detail because this is the framework that AWS wants you to use. Whether you want to use it or not is a different story, uh, but you'll see it all over in their marketing pages and things like that. So Apache MXNet is a deep learning machine learning framework which supports many, many different programming languages. So that is one advantage of it. Uh, the key features uh, is that it's scalable, it's flexible, it's portable, it's, it supports multiple programming language. Uh, AWS has uh, made Apache MXNet their framework of choice. So there's lots of support for it within AWS SageMaker and the AWS ML containers, but I have noticed that they've been increasing support for PyTorch. So maybe, you know, they're just trying to meet the customer where they are. But anyway, um, there is a lot of stuff for MXNet. Uh, MXNet has two high level interfaces. Uh, one's called gl uh, Gluon and there is module API. So uh, depending on which one you use, one is imperative programming, one's symbolic programming. Uh, this is more of a deeper concept for machine learning, but I'm gonna tell you one is really easy, one is really hard. Um, but uh, let's look at a very simple example of uh, some code for using the Gluon API. So it kind of looks like that and you can see that they are using Python. So hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, MXNet and it's offering. The key thing is that it offers it in a lot of different programming languages. Will this appear on your exam? Absolutely not, but should you know it, you absolutely should, um, just so you have good context with AWS and ML. So there you go.